So. so at the end of the day, this is really putting the child in the driving seat because the child, to, in a large, Nourish. to a very large extent, I mean, obviously the child is the one doing the assessment, but when a parent comes in and sits down in here with you in right. the space and begins this conversation, they begin to be able to take a little bit of a more relaxed position um, they while should, the child, yes. they should, they can, <laughs> um, as the child begins to, to really be, right. become an advocate for their own interests, right. their own you know choices. And I think that there's something really powerful to be said for that because what do we want our children to be able to do to well, be productive, happy, you know, one of the um, biggest things is people it, and critical you know, thinking and decision making and developing them part of that. their characteristics yeah. and their you know attributes to be successful you know yeah. self advocating yeah. is one of the biggest problems that i see right um you know so yeah the the process allows the parents to step back and and let the the the, the student take charge of their their destiny if you would sure. obviously they're going to have something to say about it of course and, and oftentimes it sometimes it's upsetting because what the, the the parent is hoping for isn't really what is going to happen right and right. i can tell you i've raised four children you know <laughs> your expectations are always uh, challenged so right um but at the end of the day it's about that that child and what's going to make them happy fulfilled and, and successful and, and right. without without exploring without asking the questions and getting the answer right by doing this in a vacuum you're just increasing the chance for failure right 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 and I know I have several friends here locally that have kids that are either juniors or seniors in high school and you know jokingly they will say what am I going to do to make sure that this you know they don't end up back in my basement right because that's such a, a trend but I think yeah. you know obviously they're we're saying that in good humor but that really is the heart of what we're talking about is yeah. if we can help a child be successful go out and pursue and learn, you know, a, a skill set and be able to right. be in a career that they are really going to, number one, be good at, but as mm -hmm. you said, also be happy with, mm -hmm. then we we have a great chance at um, sure. making our, our young people's lives better yeah. and that they can right. be productive members of society. So, yeah. I mean, I have, I have college kids come and take the assessment mm -hmm. just to affirm that they're doing the right thing. Wow. Okay. Talked to a parent just this week who has a, a, a son who just graduated from college, doesn't know what they want to do. Yeah. Wow. And, and I, I, yes, we can, we can help, but you know, okay. that, that's the cart before the horse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> And yeah. whether it's, you know, and whether it's right or not to ask a 17 or 18 year old to decide what, you know, what their future should be, <laughs> you know, that's a debate for another day. But the, the, the fact of the matter is that's where we are in terms of, you know, the, the higher education and the cost and everything, you know, that, that we, we just have to do a better job planning ahead of time to try to make it as efficient as possible Absolutely. for the family. Right, right. You know. Yeah. So. Awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. This thank has you. been very enlightening. And I know that, you know, I definitely plan to be here in eighth grade with Alex <laughs> and eventually with my yeah. with my other kids as well. But if yeah. a parent would like to learn more and get in touch with you to find out how they can begin the assessment process, right. the best place would be your website, website. Yes. which is? Uh, OptimumEdCenter.com. OptimumEdCenter.com. We'll make right. sure that we have that all included um, right. here at the end of the video as well. And then you're located right off of Gaskins, just on the north side. Uh, yeah, of between 64 and Broad. Okay. On Gaskins, okay. right. And that's where you actually would come for the meetings right. and to do the yep. assessments here in the office. And well, and yeah, and then or we can do things um, virtually as well if for right. some reason uh, coming to the facility is not uh, appropriate for the family or student. Yeah, and for people outside of the Richmond area. Sure. Yeah, it's, exactly. it's, you right. can go through the entire process virtually, it, correct? It, exactly. So, yeah. Okay. Fantastic. Well, thank you so thank much. Thank you, Christine. Right. Appreciate it.